Hey everybody, Baby Bear here, and as promised, I am going to show you some leveling up for All Stars. Now, I need to find a pair for Patronus for my Siege General. I was told that the majority of rallies are probably going to be Archer rallies, and I think I'm okay with my General for Archer. However, I always see when I'm watching All Stars people doing Siege rallies, so I don't want to be that person that doesn't have the Siege General, okay? So looking at Septimus, people keep saying, like, this is the guy to pair with Patronus. And looking at the specialties, it's like, okay, um, this will do for now. But for a main character, for a main general, probably not the best because his march capacity is really low. So if you're a spender and you're just getting into the game now, I would recommend Zuka and Patronus. Patronus, I think you will be able to upgrade his stars much easier than Zuka because he just came out. Philip has always been the siege rally guy, so I think you would be okay with that. And Serena obviously has the dragon. So for me, like dragons are always a liability because you only have so many dragons and you don't want to be switching them, right? Because there's an hour cooldown. So Ramsey is the one that people also recommend for Patronus. He has a lot of ground buffs, but at least all of his skill specialties have siege included. Because a lot of times when you see generals with mixed troop tiers, sometimes their specialties only have one or the other. So Ramsey, I heard, is a good option as well. Now, looking at Serena, I was seeing that a lot of the specialties had all three. They had the defense, HP, and the attack. So I was like, well, maybe this one is better than Septimus, but Serena only has the attack, right, in, the, in his main skill. And Septimus has the HP. So again, with the whole dragon thing, Maybe Septimus will just be a better option. And looking at research, it looked like he was a little bit better stat-wise than Serena. And there was all that drama with Serena's um, stuff getting nerfed. And I would never trust Ebony. If they're going to nerf something, they probably, like, really nerfed him, like, without knowing that, you know, the algorithm and stuff is probably all effed up. So I wouldn't trust that. So... <laughs> I'm using the wall as a way to kind of show you the skills and, and what gets grayed out. So you'll see that Septimus was grayed out because Patronus has a skill book for Siege Attack that does not agree. So I like just putting it on the wall because I can easily see it. So now I have to basically switch up Patronus's skills right after I already got them set. So that's why you see that it's purple because... You want to see the matchups first before you make it red because you do not want to go through all of your red skill books, especially if you're not a huge coiner. Um, you know, you just don't want to waste that. So waste your purples. And I think this is pretty laborious when I go through all of this. You're going to see it is quite the challenge to get um, these skill books set correctly. So... Right now, I'm trying to replace the Siege HP now. So with Septimus, on Patronus, you cannot have Attack or HP for Siege. It will gray it out. So I'm a little luckier in replacing the HP. That went a lot faster than trying to replace the Attack. And as you see now, we're not grayed out anymore. So yay! So now the challenge is to skill Septimus, and you will find that I actually am one skill book out. So I was able to add, you know, the typical stuff that, like the, the march speed, and I can't remember what the other one was. I guess I'll wait to see what it is. Oh, I think I was able to put Siege HP on this one. I think I was able to double it up. Um, but I had one left over and honestly, like if anybody has any suggestions, 
I ended up doing the range bonus and maybe adding a little bit more range to the march can help. I don't know. Um, let me know. I mean, maybe that's why people do the Ramsey because you can add a another ground skill book there. I was talking to some other people on C5 All-Stars in the Discord channel. Message me if you want the link to that if you're doing All-Stars um, because we'll have the voice channel set up. And actually, shout out to Marzer from 1172. Thank you for setting that Discord up. Uh, we'll give you another shout out as well because that was really cool. Um, but it sounds like other servers have those debuff skill books. So... This is, again, where the inequality is with Ebony. Like, this is why Ebony sometimes really pisses me off is because there are people that can use debuff skill books where I can't put anything there. And they can. They can put, you know, any of the siege debuffs, cav debuffs, and anything. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. Now, people were disagreeing in the chat room if, if it should be, like, a cav debuff, a ground debuff, or a siege debuff. I don't know. But, again... If you have the debuff skill books, feel free to comment. And those that don't have it, you can be like me and be like, screw Ebony. So we don't have that, and that's all good. I think that this is going to be the best that I can get, guys, for <laughs> before Saturday. Um, so what I'll end up doing is I will, like, double check to see if what I have, like the range attack, or not the range attack, the range bonus is okay before I start doing his red skills, but I think I can probably start um, up upping his specialties. And I'm actually going to hold on doing the specialties until I do some other stuff first to see where my gem balance is. So it's all about boosting things that are much more generous in the stats and being more efficient right so and it looks like one of the okay so siege defense did not work i don't know guys i had to do this all wonky okay so i replaced it with the range troop bonus and if you have any other ideas besides debuff books because i do not have them please Leave it in the comments. But I think this is going to be a pretty cool duo. It's like a father-son duo. So I hope you enjoyed this video and went through the anxiety of trying to find an assistant general. It is so anxiety-inducing because you don't want to make the wrong decision. But hopefully this will help somebody out there to be like, you know what? F it. I'm just going to do this duo, get my generals done, and move on to the next one. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you for another upgrade.